All right, guys, hello and welcome to another Divi Engine Divi Tutorial Tuesday. Today, we are going to be showing you how you can add some custom breakpoints to your Divi install because sometimes, you know, those breakpoints included with Divi just aren't enough. So we want a little bit more customization so that we can target more devices specifically to have our website act differently on those devices. So get ready, we're about to get busy. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about just really quick is the default Divi breakpoints. For desktops, it's usually about 981 pixels and above. For tablets, it'll be between 768 and 980 pixels. And on mobile phones, that goes to 767 pixels and below. Now, some of the reasons you might want to have your website act differently and have these custom breakpoints might be because you want to target ultra wide screens, which are becoming more popular. And with the different sizes of devices out there right now, maybe you want to do stuff like on a full width menu module, have the hamburger always display different features or applications like that. That's up to you. I'm here to show you how we're going to be ad adding different breakpoints so that you can achieve this yourself. So the first thing we're going to do is log in to the back end of our Divi install. And I already here have a page opened up that we're going to take a look at. And the first thing I wanted to show you is just some of the default settings in Divi to be able to adjust certain things, be it the font size, color, or maybe even the content with the tools that are in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this text module and open the settings. Now, with most of these settings, when you hover over a setting, you can see that this little menu pops up here. We've got, you know, a little bit of extra information, but here we've got the different device settings. When we click on that, we can actually go ahead and click on each of these tabs to go and adjust the content that is displayed based on the device. But as you can see here, we only have three breakpoints for three different devices. Also, when you go to the design tab and maybe you want to modify the font on different devices, you can also do so from here. It's a really powerful tool that the Elegant Themes guys built into Divi so that people can access a wide variety of possibilities when they're targeting different devices. But like we said, sometimes that's not enough and we need to do a little bit more. So why don't we take a look at how we're going to go ahead and build in our own Divi breakpoints for mobile devices or bigger screens or whatever the case might be. So the, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to jump to the post for this video on the Divi Engine website. You'll find that right on the URL you see on the screen right now, and we'll also link to it in the description. But what we're going to do here basically is that we're going to add a class to that text module. We're going to add some custom code, and then we're going to modify that CSS that we added to get the desired result that we want. And then afterwards we've done all that, I'm going to give you a quick debrief. Just talk about a few different things to keep mind of as we're working on this stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, so now back here on the page that we had earlier, I told you that the one step that we're going to do is that we're going to be adding that custom class to the um, text module. So, and this can be any module on the page, really. You know, this is just as an example to the text module. Alternatively, you can also do it globally by just going ahead and adding it to the Divi CSS section here when you go to the theme options and you just scroll down to the custom CSS area. But for this example, we're going to do it on the page because we only want to affect this page. It's also the reason why we add this class to this text module. I'm going to open the settings and then let me just keep things straight here and use the same class name. And I decided on DE breakpoint for Divi Engine breakpoint, but that can be any name you want it to be. I'm going to hop back here. So I'm going to click on the advanced tab and here's the CSS ID and classes. I'm just going to pop that into the CSS class spot. And you want to make sure you don't have that leading period that you usually include when using a class. And that's really all you need to do here. So we'll just save the module. And now the second step that we need to do is we need to add a code module. And this is only when we're not using the global application of this by adding it to the actual Divi theme settings. We'll add the code module. 
And what we need to do is add style tags just to make sure that, you know, your Divi WordPress install knows that, okay, well, we're targeting HTML and then within that CSS. Now, what we're going to do again is the code will be linked in the description of the video, but we're going to copy all this code right here so that we can go ahead and paste that in conveniently. And then we'll take a look at what that does. There we go. That looks much better. And cool. So let's take a look at what's going on here. You're retargeting the media, which means we're looking at the device and we're saying all devices with a minimum width of 1405. This is So this is targeting those extra large ultra wide desktop screens that have become prominent um, in the industry, like a lot of gamers and coders like to use those. And then, you know, we kind of start stepping it down to like different desktop sizes, tablet sizes and so forth. Now, these are all individual breakpoints that you'll see changing on your screen as you're scrolling through the page. Or I'm sorry, not scrolling, but resizing that window. And we'll look at that in a second. This part here that says your CSS here, that you're gonna delete. And then I'm gonna hop back here just to grab this little bit of code here. Now you'll see that this is using that class that we added to that text module. I'm gonna paste that in there. And now you see that within the screen sizes that are at least 1,405 pixels wide, we're targeting the DE breakpoint class, which is our text module. And then what we're doing is we're telling it we want to assign content after that main element with the text extra large desktop. Now we're going to go ahead and copy and paste that and replace the CSS in all the spots really quick. And again, this is a demonstration of just what you can do. This is maybe not a practical application of something you might want to do, but it gives you an idea. You can go ahead and change colors. You don't have to text, I'm sorry, address the after. You can just, you know, target just the main element. You can do the before, you can do it on hover. So a lot of different things you can do. You can basically just treat this as any CSS that you write and it gives you a lot of extra options and fun things you can do. So let's just say normal desktop and then we'll go, which one's this tablet, large tablet, why not? Oop. I am typing too fast today. As you can see, all right tablet and I will just say regular tablet and then large phone and then regular phone. Okay, now we've got that in there. Everything looks fine. We've got our open and closing tags. All our curly braces look good. Let's select that and then we'll update the page. And let's see what happens. Now, before I refresh this page, you'll see uh, that it just says this is a uh, and nothing afterwards. Doesn't matter if I make the screen big or small, doesn't really change. So let's refresh it. Okay, so now it updated with this is a extra large desktop because I am actually using ultra wide screen. And as I make this smaller, we should see it adjust. Normal desktop, large phone. You see, so just with a few lines of code, yeah, we've actually managed to completely change the default breakpoints within Divi. So very easy to do. I hope this is helpful to you guys. Now let's just talk a little bit more about some of the caveats with this. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're targeting you know, the appropriate devices and you're not skipping anything in between. And we wanna make sure that we're also making an uh, effort to, you know, the decision whether do we want it on page, do we want it global, that's entirely up to you. There's different things that you can do, of course. But this is a good start for you in getting going with adding your own uh, custom breakpoints 
to Divi and then maybe targeting things like a forward menu um, to have it act differently on different screen sizes. Um, in the article, we actually do give you the classes for addressing the full width uh, video. Uh, I'm sorry, the full width menu. And then you can look at all the different um, code bits and snippets on there that will also reinforce what we discussed here today. I hope this was super helpful for you guys. We're trying to deliver content that we hear the Divi community is asking for. So if there's anything that comes out that you'd like to see, definitely comment on the video right here or on the post on our website at DiviEngine.com. And we're always here to help and looking for ways to be awesome with you guys and using Divi to its full potential. So that's it from me. This is Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'll catch you guys in the next video.